3D gaming, it's the dream that keeps trying to make a comeback, right? Well, we've seen attempts come and go, often with mixed results, and just when we thought it was a close chapter, Samsung throws his hat back in the ring with this, the Odyssey 3D. Before we start, it's important to say something, we cannot show you the 3D effect of this monitor on video. You'll have to see it in person, and it only works for one person at a time, because of the eye tracking tech. This is a 27 inch 4K IPS monitor rocking a 165Hz refresh rate, but its party trick, glasses free 3D, thanks to a sophisticated eye tracking system and lenticular lenses. Ambitious? Absolutely! It aims to overcome past limitations and immerse us in a new dimension of gaming. But with a hefty price tag around 2 grand, can it justify the cost? Let's find out if it deserves a spot on your desk. Under the hood, the Odyssey 3D packs, as said, a 27-inch IPS panel with native 4K resolution, giving us a sharp 166 pixel per inch. For standard 2D use, you'll get that smooth 165Hz refresh rate and the claimed 1 millisecond G2G response time. But activate its special audio stereoscopy 3D mode, and Samsung claims an even lower response time, around 0.03 milliseconds G2G. SDR brightness is typical for a good IPS, ranging from 300 to 550 nits, with a nominal of 350. HDR10 Plus is supported, promising peaks around 1000 nits, but there is a catch. HDR is not available when 3D mode is active. Contrast ratio is a standard uh, 1000 to 1, color-wise we're looking at about 90% DCI-P3 and 99% sRGB coverage. Connectivity includes two HDMI 2.1 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4, a 2-port USB-A hub and a 3.5mm audio jack. There are also two integrated 5W speakers. The whole thing is kept cool by a pulsating heat pipe passive system, whatever that means. You'll notice this large top bezel that's housing the stereo cameras for eye tracking. One design choice I'm less thrilled about is purely glossy screen. Yes, it can make colors pop, but in bright rooms, it's a mirror. We also notice some minor visual artifacts like slight vignetting, dark edges, likely due to the complex screen layer needed. For 3D. All right, we've got to the main event, 3D. Managed by Samsung's Reality Hub software, which you'll need to install separately, when it works properly, the 3D effect is genuinely the best glasses-free version I've ever seen in my life. The eye tracking is robust, follows head movements well within a sweet spot of about 70 to 100 centimeters, and the immersion, especially in stylized or cartoonish games like Stray or uh, Epic's Mickey Rebrushed, which we tested and were quite convincing, is remarkable. It's more about the depth than things aggressively popping out. And good news, no nausea or excessive eye strain in our tests. However, the 3D experience was inconsistent. You have to make compromises. HDR off, game in full screen and native resolution. And the real Achilles heel, Game compatibility is extremely limited. At launch, only about 15 games, mostly Unreal Engine 4 based. The Reality Hub software also has some hiccups detecting games from platforms other than uh, Steam. There is an AI 2D to 3D video conversion too. Interesting for short, non-DRM clips, but the effects is inferior to native 3D, with artifacts and very specific NVIDIA GPU requirements. Forget 3D Blu-rays or your old PS3 3D games, this monitor does not support HDMI 3D specs, sadly. Ok, let's make a step back. What about it as a regular 2D monitor? It's a good 27-inch 4K IPS panel, 165Hz feels fluid, input lag is low, and FreeSync G-Sync compatibility keeps steering away. Image quality is solid, colors are vivid. The OSD is controlled by a joystick, but some settings are a bit buried. The 5W speakers are decent, but you'll want an external audio system. A plus 
is the quiet and effective cooling system. However, in its current state, this monitor is incredibly hard to recommend for most people. That sky-high price is the first massive hurdle, made even tougher by the shockingly limited 3D game support and video conversion restrictions. Add the reflective glossy screen, the visual quirks, and without 3D, you're left with a good 4K IPS monitor that costs three to four times its 2D competitors. This Odyssey 3D feels more like a luxury tech demo, an expensive party trick for wealthy early adopters, or die-hard Nintendo 3D nostalgics with very deep pockets. However, it's also an exciting glimpse into what could be the future of displays. But for now, that future is too niche and too expensive to break out of the tech curiosity realm. We do hope Samsung keeps developing this tech, expands software support, and brings prices down, because the core idea has a lot of potential. Finally, for today, for most gamers, there are way more practical and satisfying ways to spend that kind of money. So what do you think? Is Glasses Free 3D something that you would be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. More about death, death, death. <laughs> Jesus.